Hey everyone, it's Tutorial Tuesday, and today I want to show you guys how to make a split letter monogram. Um, for those of you who have never watched my videos before, uh, I you can follow my mouse along this way so it's a little easier to find. Uh, and I'm just going to show you guys how to do this quickly. Um, I used the Elizabeth font. Uh, it's a Cricut font. That way everybody can follow along and do this, and it's also really, really pretty, so I like to use that one. So I'm going to go ahead and start by making my letter four and a half inches wide. Uh, I keep it locked with the height so that it's easier to see. And then what I'd like to do is go over to my shapes, and I'm going to grab a square, and I'm going to unlock it, and I'd like to make it normally about an inch wider than my letter. So in this case, four and a half inches wide, and I like to make it about half an inch tall. So I'm gonna uh, unlock it up here and manually change those. Um, you may find that you don't like it um, that much longer, but I think that on average for most letters, uh, an inch over works pretty well. It will also depend on your font, what you like, but that's what I use as my standard. Uh, what I'm going to do next is go up here to select all, and I'm going to go over to my align tool, and I'm going to center horizontally and center vertically. Now you may find that you like exactly where this is placed, or you may find you want to uh, move it a little bit, but usually I like to do this first because I think it gives a really good base um, to start out with. Now I don't particularly like where this falls, so I'm just going to select my rectangle and I'm going to bump it up one with just the arrow key on my keyboard, and now I think that's good. What I'm going to do next is go over here to the top of my layers panel and I'm going to click the duplicate button. Now with this, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to actually go up here. I'm going to unlock the dimensions for it and I'm going to make it a quarter of an inch high. And I'm going to leave that over there still. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag my mouse around both the original rectangle and my letter. You can also select them both in the layers panel by using the control button on your keyboard, but I find this a little bit easier. Then I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my layers panel and I'm going to select weld. Now that works perfectly for me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other rectangle and I'm going to select all three of these. So I could have just gone up here and selected all, that's all that's on my screen, and I'm going to center it horizontally and vertically using my align tool. And I'm going to go over here in my layers panel and I'm going to change this to a pink and then I'm going to um, select it again and I'm going to go up here to arrange and I'm going to arrange it to the front. Now you notice that it's about uh, aligned with the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is just move it up one. I want it about centered here. So usually moving it up about one is going to give you what you want to do. Now we're going to slice it. So I'm going to go up here to select all because it's all I have on my screen. It's going to select the split, uh, the letter and my pink rectangle and I'm going to slice. Now all that's going to do here is move these pieces apart. Now you'll notice it's still one piece. So we can go ahead and slice this again, or we can duplicate up here at the top of our layers panel, and we can contour. Because I don't really have a lot of fine lines here, this is going to contour really easily. Let me make sure I grabbed everything. So we've just got the top left for this one. And on this one, I'm going to go over to contour again, and I'm going to remove the top pieces. And you have that. Now in case you wanted to slice, I will go back and undo my contouring steps. Um, I'm going to have to go back quite a few times. So then I could just do this, um, and I'll grab a shape over here, I'll grab a square. I usually like to unlock it first so it doesn't get too far off my screen. And I'm just going to set it over only the parts I want to slice, 
I'm going to select all and then I'm going to go down to the bottom of my layers panel and slice and then you just pull apart all the gray pieces that you don't want. So whichever one of these you might find easier for your letter is perfectly fine. And then you can go ahead and you can move your pieces around how much you'd like spaced. Um, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I like to um, line it up with my grid lines here. So if you wanted to leave an inch, you could leave this at the bottom of the three and this at the top of the four so that you can see there's clearly an inch between. And I can go over and add my text and I can just add in um, a name. And it's up to you if you wanna use the same font that you already used, if you wanna switch it up and make it a different color, um, then you can go ahead and use your letter spacing tool up here to get these a little closer together since it's a nice cursive font. Um, at that, it's a little close with that T. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld it because it's a cursive font. Uh, that T and the H are a little close together. So I'm going to undo it, but you can go ahead and you can play around with whatever you like. Uh, and that's pretty easy how you do a split monogram.